Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the quotient rules of exponents. Please put this title at the top of your fresh clean note page and then we'll get started. Go ahead and write down example 1 which reads 5 to the 6th power divided by 5 to the 4th power. Now let's see what this really means. If we expand 5 to the 6th power we really have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 over 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So we have 6 factors of 5 divided by 4 factors of 5. When I think about this in terms of a fraction, I realize that I can simplify fractions, and I can do the same thing here. These common factors of 5 can cancel each other out. And what I'm really left with is 2 factors of 5, or 5 squared, over, and it looks like nothing because we canceled out all the factors of 5 on the denominator. However, even when we cancel out all of our factors, we always have a factor of 1. Okay, now I know 5 to the second power is 25, and 25 divided by 1 equals 25. Okay, we can think about that in terms of exponents. If we write our answers in exponents, we have 5 to the second power over 1, which simplifies to simply 5 to the second power. Now I'm wondering, is there a shortcut that we can work with? Now, probably since I'm asking you that question, you are already guessing, well, there must be, otherwise she wouldn't be asking us that. There sure is. Now, the solution we got when we wrote out the factors was 5 to the second power over 1. So can we see any kind of a pattern happening from our problem 5 to the 6th power divided by 5 to the 4th power and our answer of 5 to the 2nd power? Hopefully we're noticing that if we look at our exponents on our same base numbers and we look at our exponent in our answer, we're, we will realize that if we are dividing powers that have the same base number, we can subtract our exponents. So another way to do this problem would be same base number, subtract our exponents, and get 5 to the second power. Please pause the video at this time to write the quotient rule into your notes. The quotient rule states, to divide powers with the same base number, keep the base the same and subtract your exponents. Okay, example two looks a little more complicated. We've got more quotients that are happening in this problem. So I always like to separate my quotients. I see that I have x to the tenth divided by x to the third. I also have y to the seventh divided by y to the fourth. And last but not least, I have a factor of z divided by nothing, or I can always write it as divided by one. So if I apply the quotient rule to my x terms, x to the tenth divided by x to the third, subtract my exponents, will give me x to the seventh power. With my y's, y to the seventh divided by y to the fourth gives me y to the third power. And z divided by one gives me z. There's my answer and that guy is done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, example three is a little tricky. Okay, when we are thinking about our rule the, uh, for quotient rule, we, ha we have to be looking at base numbers being the same. And our base numbers are similar, but all of you know that negative 9 is not the same as positive 9. 
but I think we can figure out a way to write this so that we do have the same base numbers. Let's rewrite the numerator as negative 1 times 9 to the fifth power over 9 to the second power. Okay, now this part of my problem I can apply the quotient rule to. I'll still have a factor of negative 1 times 9 to the 5 minus 2 power or negative 1 times 9 to the third. Done. All right, example four. Okay, again, I'm going to separate things that are kind of in categories, I guess I'll say. Three to the third divided by nine times a to the fifth divided by a squared times c squared divided by c. Remember, c by itself means c to the first. Okay. Now, 3 to the third power means 3 times 3 times 3. That really gives me 27. And 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Moving on to my a's, a to the fifth divided by a squared, a to the 5 minus 2, or a to the third power. And last but not least, c's. All right, here are our c's. That's fun. c to the second divided by c to the first leaves me with c to the first power. Another way of writing the same answer is 3 a to the third c. Done. All right, let's take a look at example 5. Again, I'm going to separate things. Here are my whole numbers, 10 divided by 2. Here are my m's m to the eighth divided by m to the seventh and n to the third. I don't have any n's in the denominator, but remember we can always write that factor of one in our denominator. Okay, let's start simplifying. Ten divided by two gives me five. m to the eighth divided by m to the seventh. Remember, base number stays the same. Our base number is m, and we subtract our exponents. 8 minus 7 is 1. n to the third divided by 1 simply gives us n to the third. And remember, another way of writing that same answer is 5m n to the third. Have a great day.